wanted me to come Mindset. out and, uh... Mindset. Okay. Mindset. So you're... You're, uh, you're, 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 you're upset about the anti-union policies of uh, uh, the Republicans, and I, and I feel that Obama should be uh, should be a little more pro-union when he, you know, he's taking all of our money and trying to get all of our votes, but then, you know, when all of these union-busting bills are going around, he has no public statement about it at all, you know? Yeah. How can, you, how can you tell the people, I mean, like I was telling that man, he stood in front of union workers and said, when they come to break up your unions, when they come to bust up your collective bargaining rights, I will go buy a new pair of shoes and I will march shoulder to shoulder with you against him. And then when Scott Walker tried breaking, did, did all of his collective bargaining right busting and union busting in Wisconsin, he had no public statement about it at all. He was wearing the same old loafers. He marched nowhere, you know. You're only as good as your word. And when you say that you're gonna, you're gonna back the unions and you're going to march with them against uh, people trying to bust up collective bargaining, and then you don't even make a public statement, I can't respect you anymore. I really can't, you know. I'm very, I'm highly disappointed. Well, you, well, with you, you do know that when he was elected in 2008, a lot of his money uh, came from Wall Street. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I believe yeah. Goldman Sachs was, if I'm not Big. mistaken, they were right. one of his biggest. I mean, they're, uh, a, li they're a little disenchanted with him now, but in 2008, he was the man uh, of their dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Yeah. I don't think you're all that disenchanted with him now. I think, uh, you know, they still love him. How are you? Jim, how are you? Yeah. Yeah, I got my dues receipt right here in my pocket. Okay. So what do you what do you think is the answer? Do you think? Uh, um, you know, I I don't know. I leave that to men that are a lot more uh, intelligent and educated than I am. Right on. Right on. Um, I agree. You know, uh, I not just saying anybody with the answers here. You know, we're, uh, we're pointing to problems. All I know is that. Um, well, you know, I mean, personally, I believe that, uh, and you know, I can only speak for myself. I personally believe that. Uh, 95, 98% of our elected officials are bought and paid for. They're in somebody's pocket and it is not mine. They are beholden to the big money that got them elected as opposed to being beholden to their constituency, listening to the people. They may listen to them around election time, but then as soon as they get elected, they turn their back and they go, ha ha, screw you, I got your vote, I got what I want, now I will go. You know, I mean, people talk about how Clinton was such a great president. He was a good president. You know, he really wasn't. He was lucky enough to be sitting in the seat when the tech boom hit, which created millions of jobs. He was just lucky enough to be there. That's right. He is the one that repealed the Glass-Steagall Act, which was the separation of investment banks and regular banks. You know, so how good of a guy was he really? I kind of respect the man that he's become as a former president, but as president, what you know, about, he wasn't all that good. What, and about, now, what about the Democratic Party? Is, 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 is Maybe it's time to break with them and start something new? Well, break with them? Who break with them? I broke with them. I'm, I'm an independent. I think, well, I, personally, I think, you mean the unions? The I unions, think the unions well, should. Yeah, I mean, personally, I would general. like to see union money, corporate money, private money, all money besides your money, his money, my money, out of our election system. Because, I mean, I really, I think that just buys politicians. I'd like to see lobbyists out of Washington. Lobbying is bribery. It's legal bribery. I would like to see the... Uh, actually, I'd like to see all of the Supreme Court thrown the hell out. Because they, as a judiciary uh, entity, they are supposed to be non-biased and and they're, non appoint, they're appointed for life. Appointed for life. I don't. I don't get that. Is and that, and they that? are some of the most opinionated and either left and or right wing and not ashamed of it people there are. The the well. The uh, the passage of the Citizens United ruling that says corporations are people and money is speech is just absolutely amazing and appalling to me. Money is not speech. Corporations are not people. Cut cut a corporation's wrist and show me the blood. 
Uh, or as they said, uh, I'll believe a corporation is a when person Texas when Texas executes, executes yeah. one. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you know, and with the whole money of speech thing, really? So, so you know, the guy down the street has more speech than I do because he has more money in his pocket. That, that, that I'm amazed by that. That's... That's not how our government was founded. It's not what our forefathers had in mind. Thomas Jefferson was such an extremely intelligent man that he foresaw so much of the problems we're having now. He foresaw them in the 18th century, you know? Uh, let me ask you, what, do you uh, what is your reaction to this whole Occupy movement? Obviously, you're taken with it. Or well, you yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. My, my, uh, my take on it is it started out as an exceptionally good idea and it is slowly being hijacked into a uh, a panhandler's paradise a yeah, homeless yeah. haven yeah you can see that on the, guys, on the other side of this right, park right you got yeah, guys yeah. with tables selling right here next to us look a guy selling stickers and t-shirts and buttons that say occupy wall street but go ask him if he's donating any of his profit to Occupy Wall yeah, Street. It's been I really believe that Occupy Wall Street should copyright the name so that anybody using it can be sued to... No, I, I think we all have to be part of the same thing. They can't be starting saying, you're out of it. Right, that's... Okay. That guy. At, the same thing, at the same time, they're not... They're not at, he's trying to survive, too. I, I don't want to be drawing lines against people that are in the same position. Yeah, but he's, well, no, but that's but, fine. But, but uh, you know what? He has... If you go talk to him, he has no opinion about this. He doesn't care about this. He cares about his pocket. Now, I care about my pocket, too, but I care more about the direction America's heading than my own pocket. You have a right, yeah, you have a right to uh, maintain the integrity of your own political movement and not let some... Not let it be hijacked. Not let it be hijacked by other people. Or extorted. Or extorted, exactly. Well, yeah. the distortion is, is, is well, Fox News uh, distorts well, everything. IBEW. Three? Yeah, local 12, 12. No, no, oh, okay. local 12, 12, the broadcast engineers. Yeah. Right on. Yay. Yeah. That's why I want to get to so much. There's, uh, right there, IBEW, my brother Bob from Boston. Not my real brother, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can back up a little. Yeah, yeah. 